Podcast. Good morning. For this assignment, I was handed a name by JJ, since I've never read a superhero comic book before. He gave me a comic book editor and writer that I had never heard of, Mark Wade. Who is he? Mark was born in Alabama in 1962, and he started out in the mid-1980s as an editor and writer for a comic book fan magazine called Vantagraphics Books. His first book story was published in 1985, and it was an eight-page Superman comic. Then, two years later, DC Comics took notice of him, and his career took off. He was behind many well-known comic book series, The Flash, Wonder Woman, the infamous Kingdom Come miniseries, and also the 21st century retelling of Superman in Superman Birthright. Then Mark dibble-dabbled with the other guys, and he wrote for Captain America, Fantastic Four, and Daredevil. Mark is first known for his eight-year run for The Flash and Wally West. Why was the character Wally so popular? Mark gave him an origin story that everyone could connect with. And as a storyteller, that is fundamental for a story success. He's a fan made good. He's, you know, he, his big dream was to be the Flash and he got it. And that was, you know, as a kid, that's all he wanted to do. And I related to him in that sense. I was, you know, the fanboy who made good. So I think that a lot of fans connect with him on that level, realizing that again, almost like he's one of us, but look what he did. Now, I mentioned earlier, Mark wrote a series called Kingdom Come. Kingdom Come came out in 1996 and was a four issue miniseries presenting a darker tale for the DC superheroes. Let's just say a new superhero rises with strong public support named M M Magog, who has no problem killing people. So Superman and the Justice League quit after Magog killed the Joker. Now the Joker was killed on his way to trial for the mass murder of the Daily Planet staff, including uh -oh. Lois Lane. She was stabbed through her heart with her own nameplate at her desk. This darker Superman series reinvigorated DC Comics in the 1990s. I recently read it for this project, and what struck me was the quality of artwork. It's entirely made of paintings by Alex Ross, and not the typical line work that comics have always utilized. In a nutshell, this series was about Superman being tested with ultimate loss. Decisions are to be made that will decide the fate of the world. Nuclear bombs are deployed against nefarious superhero characters that are indistinguishable from good or bad, who are called meta-humans. Superman, Wonder Woman, and the Bionic Batman are no longer young anymore. It's like a geriatric Justice League. There we go. We got, we got the Justice League in. There you go. All right. Oh my God. This is the best thing I've ever seen in my entire life. 
Yeah, it's like a geriatric Justice League. However, Mark Wade's writing was fantastic and the painted interiors and covers by Alex Ross was game changing. The time and care that went into the series shows. In comparison, we have the artwork from Kingdom Come. And we also have the artwork from our recent topic, The Old Guard. You decide what artwork gets flushed. There's an audience for everything. One Man's Trash is Charlie Theron's movie. <laughs> Kingdom Come ends with Superman putting his glasses back on, signifying his return to being Clark Kent again, after nearly giving in to his potential homicidal rage. Scenes like that are powerful. In fact, you don't need words in text boxes describing what you're seeing in each cell. Mark Wade further explains this scene's significance. Alex and I were talking about how it might end and some things, and I had this mental image of Superman at the very end of the story, you know, just for the first time in the entire story, just putting his glasses back on and becoming human again at the end of the story. That's how it works for me a lot of times. It's just a, a, a flash of an image, something, something striking. The artist Mark Wade is best known to have collaborated with is Alex Ross, who drew and painted Kingdom Come. And since 1996, Alex hasn't been paid for his designs being used by Wonder Woman movies or TV shows like Batwoman. He and Mark have been paid discretionary bonuses, <laughs> gifts of money from time to time from Warner Brothers. And this is all according to his interview with Bleeding Cool News. Way to go, Warner Brothers. The last thing I want to part with you. Mark Wade is responsible for bringing Superman into the 21st century with a retelling of the classic story. In fact, it came out three years before the movie Superman Returns did in 2006. And after reading Birthright, I noticed some elements were borrowed from it in The Man of Steel in 2013. The S on Superman's chest being a symbol of hope, and the theme of alienation and isolation being brought to the forefront is seen in both movies. What's the S stand for? It's not an S. On my world, it means hope. Well, here it's an S. <laughs> oh, please don't make us watch it again! <laughs> I come away from Mark Wade's work and this class knowing that superhero comic books are stories, just like what we watch at the movie theaters, just like the books we read, or the stories our grandparents listen to on the radio. Comics are a different medium that encourages reading. It teaches lessons and fills our senses. Try not to be cliche here. They have withstood the tests of time and even migrated very well into the digital age. For this project, I unexpectedly connected with Mark Wade because he knows how to tell a story. And for the record, Kingdom Come was the very first Superman comic I ever read. And for lack of a better word, Shazam! Superman, Wonder Woman, and the bionic Batman are no longer young anymore. It's like a geriatric... <laughs> the best writing you can always do is when you find some way to connect with a character, even if it doesn't seem like there's a similarity between you and the hero or the villain you're writing, dig deep and find the littlest kernel, just something that you can relate to as a person and then latch onto that. Superman, Wonder Woman, and the bionic Batman are no longer young anymore. It's like a geriatric Justice League. <laughs>
I feels good. I mean, it's I I know no matter what I do for the rest of my life, that's what's going to be on my tombstone. So I guess I'm I'm good with that. It's a it's a good story. Alex is brilliant. The the, the thing looks brilliant. I think we did a, a decent job. I think I did a decent job. I did Alex knock it out of the park. I think I did a good job. Mm, it's hot in here. I've been. I mean, no one gets a career like this, and I'm not saying that as a humble brag. I'm saying that as a I can't believe it either. You know, if you can't believe how long I've been in comics, I can't either. I think that's good.